What's going on guys? How you doing? Gypsy Danger 7 is back with the first video of the day. It might be my last video of the day, but let's get right into it. I want to discuss what what this whole Ukraine mania um, <laughs> means for the Democratic National Circus Show and the candidates involved. Let's get right into it while I got the time. First of all, as you know by now, here's the very latest. Uh, President Trump wants China and the Ukraine to sit there and investigate the Bidens in their dealings with both of them. Okay, we all know about that. Also, we also know that um, Adam Pencil Nick Schiff for Brains is in on it. He, he, he knew from the get-go what was going to happen before the story even broke. Of course, we already know that the whistle, whistleblower is nothing more than a liar, and he has a political agenda against President Trump. And let's talk about how this is going to affect Joe Biden himself. As you know, he's the front runner for the Democratic National Circus show. Well, every time this stays in the news, this whole Ukrainian mania, well, then it's looking more and more bad that it should have been Joe Biden investigated, realistically, and it should have been Joe Biden who should have been impeached when he was vice president. Just put it out there. And also, let's talk about what it means to Bernie Sanders. Well, we already know Bernie Sanders had a heart attack and he had, put, he had, he had stints put in his heart you know, and everything else like that. So he's out until further notice. And like I said, here's the thing too about Bernie Sanders. Look, I disagree with that man fundamentally on a lot of things, <laughs> okay? His policy sucks, but even though he's more government than he is God, I'm not gonna ignore the fact that that man still is my brother in Jesus Christ. I'll just put it out there. And, I, and like I said, just because I fundamentally disagree with him on a lot of his policies doesn't mean I hate the man as an individual. He's, you know, he has every right to believe what he wants to believe. This is America. It's a free country. But I don't want to see anything done wrong or see something happen to somebody, even though I may disagree with them on a political fundamental basis. Like I said, he might be more government than he is about God, but still, I recognize him still as my brother in Christ. Anyway, moving right along. Who's next? Elizabeth Warren. Okay. We already know she's a liar. Straight up straight liar on a lot of things. All right. She, you know, her policies have changed over the years and now she's a far left loony like anybody else is. And like I said, speaking of liar, she lied about her, her whole ethnic background for decades and got busted out there that she's, she's not an American Indian. Surprise. So. The following is my personal conspiracy theory, okay? This is not based on facts, okay, or anything like that. I just have a personal conspiracy theory. And what does this mean for the person who is not in the race right now? And who is this person? Hillary Clinton. That's who. That's right. My personal conspiracy theory means that this whole Ukrainian mania is to get Joe Biden out. And <laughs> Bernie Sanders is out. Elizabeth Warren doesn't even stand a chance against President Trump. Let's keep it real. Who is next after that? Kamala Harris. She's sinking. Remember what? Remember she was at a at a um, at a uh, rally, and she says, "Are you ready for uh, my presidency?" What did she say? <laughs> what did the audience say? No. <laughs> so, this is where my conspiracy theory comes into play. It's to get Hillary back. Yes, we're gonna have part two of the 2016 elections and 2020. Okay, like I said, every time this Ukrainian mania stays in the news, it looks terrible on Joe Biden. So, and like I said, Bernie Sanders out until further notice. Who's next? Like I said, this is my conspiracy theory. This is to make room for Hillary Clinton to come back. And oh, by the way, to further my case in regards to my little conspiracy theory, all of the blessed sudden she comes from under the rock for whatever hell hole she was you know was under. Well, all of a sudden she's crawling out of the woodwork. All of a sudden she's crawling from the, underneath that hell hole of a rock. I don't know where she was at. Been quiet all this time and now she's in fact in the spotlight. Can you smell the conspiracy now? Now you see where I'm coming with this? Now you see where I'm going with this? Now you know why I believe that this is this is nothing more than a blatant attempt to circumvent the entire Democratic National Circus show to put Hillary right back in it. 
there's my conspiracy theory. This is what I meant about yesterday in yesterday's video that this is what I feel is going to happen. This is this is about a candidate who's not even running, but yet she will be put back in the running. Anyway, that's the video. And oh, by the way, if it does turn out that Hillary Clinton gets right back in the running, you heard it here first. Remember that. Again, that's the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something from it. And if you did, please like, rate, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell. Greatly appreciate it. Um, as you know, I will have the Cash App in the link description below as well as um, the promo code. So if you wish to support this channel. And oh yeah, by the way, in the meantime, I was busy you know, taking care of real life. I opened up a PayPal account. So I will also have another way that you can support this channel through PayPal. If you're more comfortable that way. Anyway. Listen, if I don't make another video for the rest of the night, you know, real life takes over. And uh, just want to tell you all, listen, have a very great weekend. Have a blessed weekend. Enjoy your time with your family and your friends and your pets, of course. And I will see you. Um, take care. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Holy Ghost guides you. Until the next video. Later.